Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and this is Fab with Steph. Just noticed I do still have my swatches on from the last video I just did, which is this month's Rocker Box. This is another Rocker Box unboxing, but it's not for this month's Rocker Box. It is for the Mystery Rocker Box. This was the Periquini MD Mystery Box. It is now sold out, unfortunately. So if you did not get hold of one, um, it would just be a general mystery box that you would be able to purchase, which is unlikely to contain the Periquini MD but could contain any number of previous products from Rocklebox subscriptions. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, the box is the same as the one from last month, which is the lipstick can't solve your problems, but it's a good place to start. I really like that, but I also love this month's box. So if you've not seen it yet, definitely go and check that out. If not on my channel, you can do it on someone else's. I don't really mind. Um, and I still love this. Good things come to those who take their makeup off before bed. That is true. Good skin comes to those who take their makeup off before bed. Um, as always, it comes with this little card in here. This is specific to the mystery boxes and it's basically kind, kind of encouraging you to sign up um, to be a subscriber if you aren't already. Um, and it tells you, oh, so it does say you get five to seven products a month. I thought you just got five. So I was like, oh, I've got an extra thing this month. But I guess it's within their sort of norm. Um, but yeah. So £10 a month is how much the subscription is, and it is £10 for this, um, and it's £3.25 for delivery. They do contain these every single time, which is a bit wasteful, um, and I don't need it, but you can't really do very much about that, because um, they want to obviously make sure that everyone gets one. But let's go ahead and get into my box, because I'm excited. <laughs> so first of all, the thing that I knew was going to be in here, this is the Periconi MD No Makeup Instant Blur. So this is... Instantly blurs perfections, Periclini MD signs visibly improves skin's appearance over time. Um, the reason for this, so it says it minimizes the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles and enlarged pores over time. Um, and it's because of some of the ingredients that it contains. So someone was talking to me about this and I really hope that I can pick up the words that she had said. So stuff that's in here that's good, there's the, I always say this wrong, I think it's pronounced squalene or squalin um, and that is actually something you might recognize the name of is in the ordinary products as well you can get the cleanser lactic acid is also supposed to be great um, and I cannot see the other thing that it's not jumping out at me iron oxides is in here as well is that something that's good I don't know but basically the stuff that's in here is formulated to try and make your skin look better underneath um, so that you might still want to use it because it's going to, you know, be helpful um, but it's not going to need to work as hard to cover those imperfections. I'm going to go ahead and just open the box. I do have foundation on at the moment so I'm not going to apply it right now but I'm just going to take a little look and show you what this looks like inside. I've never seen one in person. First things first, and this is actually quite cute, um, this has a little lip on it. So do you like you get a new phone and you have to peel this thing off? It's got that because it's the chrome finish. I actually really like that. It's just like, I don't know, it's a nice presentation. Um, open up, you've got the little mirror here. I'll be careful not to blind you. And you've got this pad. So this is like... Oh, that's soft. Um, that's obviously to apply it. And then this lifts up and you have the product in here. So I'm probably going to use that pretty much like a pore reducing primer. It's basically what I'm going to be utilizing it as. Um, I will do reviews of it in Agora. So if you are on Agora, feel free to follow me at Fabulous Steph. And if you're not, you're interested in what it is, I do have a video on that on, on here. So you can just go ahead and look that up. Um, Okay, what else is in the box? What else is in the box? I'm so excited. I love mystery boxes, I keep talking about this. Um, a little bit less excited about this one. Uh, it looks like a very nice colour. It's Lauren's Cosmetics in shade, or nail polish in shade Red Maple. Um, love the colour, love the name. It looks quite classy. I don't actually use normal nail polish. I use uh, gel polish, but I have nothing on my nails at the moment, so I'll actually go ahead and just use this. Oh, it's tight. This is going, like the colors seem to work really well with the um, eyeshadow palette that I got this month from them. So it's a very autumnal color. Just gonna try and do the one coat, but I'm doing it in a really weird way. So it's kind of multiple coats, kind of not because it's not really layered. Okay, so excuse it for being a little bit messy. 
but that is the colour here. I think it's a good amount of coverage for one coat. I would definitely need one more coat to finish it off, but can you see how that kind of goes? How do I twist my thumb to do this? <laughs> how it goes with the colours from that eyeshadow palette. So that's quite nice. Obviously it just smells like normal nail polish, there's nothing else exciting about it, but it is a very nice shade. Um, moving on, what else is in here? Oh, I got this in my last one, uh, which is fine, because we like the, this is something you can pop away and use in the future anyway. So this is the Daily Concepts Exfoliating Jewel Texture Scrubber, and basically it's like an exfoliator you use in the shower. Uh, you can squeeze a little bit of your product onto it and then just use it to like scrub your skin it does say it's perfect for travel um if this was a little resealable pouch that would have been ideal because when you're traveling and this gets wet where are you putting it mm, you need to carry this with you and pretty much put it back into it um but yeah so yeah i'm i don't mind that i've got another one of it i don't have anything else exciting to say about it it's pretty standard um and what's next <laughs> that's what i have to say what's next Ooh. So this is from Vita Masks. I've heard very mixed reviews on Vita Masks um, or Vita Masks, depending on your pronunciation. It is K-Beauty, something that I'm quite new to using. And this is a Cosmic Pink Peel Off Mask in Ruby Glitter. So it's made with Ruby Powder, Diamond Powder and Rose Hip Oil. Some people have had very, very bad reactions to their products um skin wise like had really bad breakouts but it is vegan friendly animal cruelty free um i've never heard anyone say the animal bit in front of it but that's fine um paraben free and mineral oil free is there a reason we would want it to be mineral oil free i need to do some research i've never seen anything less than mineral oil free either maybe it's just letting you know um This is <laughs> the directions. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked because it's a peel off mask, but it says under step three, do not pull the mask off. Allow to remain on for approximately 15 minutes until it's completely dried, then slowly peel off the mask, starting from the bottom of your face. Do not pull the mask off. I don't know what that means, but that's fine. I'm going to try it. I love glittery peel off masks. I still have my glam glow one. I'm at the very, 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 very end. I've got maybe two uses if I stretch it out and it's the My Little Pony one um, and I just love it. Um, sometimes you'll see it on my Snapchat or my Insta stories or whatever because it is very Instagrammable but most of the time I just sit and enjoy the fact that I'm beautifully glittery by myself. Uh, last thing I've got in here is a Total Conditioning Beauty Mask from Skimono and it says it's a deeply replenishing serum food mask packed with shea butter olive oil tea tree and chamomile so it's like a sock you put it on like a sock it says it moisturizes deeply smooths cracked heels softens hardened skin refreshes and revives tired feet and has antibacterial action i like that i do like that that's going to be interesting to try i've never tried um a foot mask yet i do own a couple i've got one of the ones that's meant to make your feet peel Quite creepy one of the ones from Poundland because I've heard really good reviews from it um but this will obviously be good for after that because that will be quite harsh on your feet I would have thought I don't know but yeah so that's quite exciting little box of things um I would say the thing I'm most excited about would be the face mask and what I already knew I was getting which was this so you can buy this just now I think they say the RRP is something like 40 pound they've been selling this in TK Maxx for 20 pound though um and this box cost me 10 so really happy with the total value of this box um, and really happy as always with the packaging and everything. I had a little leakage in my main box this month but happy to say that nothing's leaked in that um, and generally I think Rocketbox customer service is quite good so I'm sure that if you did have anything wrong with any purchase that you made that they would be very quick to sort it out. But yeah, so uh, thanks very much for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, please feel free to let me know. Any comments and support is always greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching and have a great day.